You just bullshit. I'm going to record this. Okay, say something interesting. Pretend this is your meeting. What do you want the world to know? Uh, I don't know. What it's is the thing? Self hurting? No, I said it's 1230. I'm saying that to the world. Okay, what is the one thing that the world is missing right now? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> right now, the world is missing reassurance. Okay, good. Like reassuring a lot. The world is missing reassuring, and because of that, they're missing common sense. And they are missing a feeling of security and calm. Right. So how do they get that? Well, they have to come to terms with themselves and with what's going on. They have to learn to accept and embrace. And they don't want to do that because they are so used to as humans, they are used to have control on everything and they have a hard time understanding that something that they can't even see or touch is actually controlling them. That's how they feel. That's how they see it. So you feel like because their fear is consumed with what they can't control that they're not in touch with their own reassurance or they're having a hard time coming to terms with the lack of control? Yes. Like they are having a hard time accepting that, okay, this is the situation. You have to accept it, right? There's nothing you can do. You can't fight it. You can't do nothing. You can't, being angry doesn't change anything. Being mad, being whatever feeling won't change anything. The only way to deal with it is to accept what's going on, understand, okay, this is the situation right now. And this is what we have to do to make it better. So we have to do it and then embrace it, embrace it. Instead of seeing it as, like something bad, see what's good about it. See how it changes the environment. See how like it's good for everybody to actually have some time for themselves. Yeah. Like forget about forget about greed. Forget about profit. Forget about material. Forget about your money. Forget about everything. Just think about like the what you could do with yourself when you're like in your house with yourself probably or hopefully with people that live with you and that you love it's 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 the perfect opportunity to reconnect with with everything that matters that actually matters yeah what would you say to the people that would oppose your viewpoint and say well i have bills to pay and 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 i can't relax and enjoy my family because because i'm worried about paying those bills all right that's that's I, that's certainly normal, I understand. Well, first of all, I'm going to tell you this. Everybody else has bills to pay and almost everybody else is in, is in your situation right now. And second, okay, fine. I understand that you say you cannot relax. So go for it. Stress. And then let me know what it, what, how, how it affects you positively and how your bills get paid. Right. So the, uh, the people have to do the opposite in order to come up with solutions to even pay their bills. They'd have to be in a state of relaxation. That's basically what I'm saying. Like it's, 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 that's what I call acceptance. Mm -hmm. Why is acceptance so hard for people? Do you think? Oh my God. It's because of it's, it's the first thing is because of preconceived ideas. What do you mean by that? <laughs> because you know, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, you have preconceived ideas. Preconceived ideas are, you remember that yesterday we were talking about how uh, it's like patterns, careful, right? Careful, careful. Oh, yeah. Keep it general because I might post this video. <laughs> Don't put our business out there. Yeah, patterns. Yes. Well, you were talking about patterns and then you were talking about uh, being wrong, how, it's, uh, how we take it personally as, as it's, you take it as it's not allowed and I take it as failure. Yeah, that's true. 
that's a preconceived idea. It's yeah. something that it's something that we have in our mind, in our heart, in our fucking. It's it's literally it's almost like it's part of our anatomy. It's ideas that we have that we have because they are ingrained in our brain. It could be from our parents, from the society, from ourselves, from things around us that we grew up with and we develop those ideas as something like preconceived ideas, example, or uh, black people like chicken. Black people like ch fried chicken, right? Yeah, there's that, that preconceived idea. That's a preconceived idea. I hate black chicken. I hate... You hate black chicken? <laughs> like I... Actually, you know, I love black chicken. <laughs> but you hate the preconceived I idea. But aren't you talking about subconscious preconceived you know, what I, ideas? What I'm saying, well, I'm giving you an example of what preconceived ideas are. Okay. Right? And that's why people have a hard time accepting because they already have their mindset on how things should be. Right. Like, are. I should be at work right now. I should be making such and such amount of money. Yes. And so, like when when something happens and it and it hits your preconceived ideas, it creates some kind of unbalance in in your mind. Yeah. And, and the problem with that is not a problem. What what really happens is that you feel uncomfortable. You feel out of your bubble. You feel you feel. You feel unsafe, like you feel kind of vulnerable and not in a way that you would like. Yeah. Like all of a sudden you realize that it's almost like everything you believed in doesn't exist anymore. Now what do you do? Right. That's the breaking down of the egoic egoic uh, way of living, right? Because yes. the business has stopped, so the busyness has stopped. So now we have to kind of going through this process where we calm down is what you're that's, saying. That's what, that's what's happening. You know, how many cases of people who are not staying at home, people yeah. who refuse to stay at home, that's what it is. It's not because, it's not because like, uh, because they don't know or because they are stupid. Or not, yeah. In, in the end, it comes down to being stupid because, you're going to make yourself and everybody sick. Yeah, that is stupid. But like what, what it really is, is that <laughs> uh, difficulty to accept what's going on. Yeah, to accept what is. Not what you yeah. think it should be, right? Like you're using the exactly. notion of fried chicken. You think that black people should eat it like you think you should. But it's a, you should, the, the circumstances well, should be like, different. It's like I was watching a video last time. Okay, no, I can't say that on that. I'll say it later. But, <laughs> but it's true. It's like, that's what preconceived ideas are. Right? They are like, they are, they are ideas that we think are certainties. They are like, they are like things that we, we live by without realizing that we have wrote that in our head like a Bible, like a guide. Like we think that's how it is because, because we don't know any different, because nobody ever told us, showed us any different, because we never believed any different. Whatever it is, it's, a, it's just an idea that we have chose to live by, right? Like some people can tell you that religion is a preconceived idea. Like, you know, it's... It just, it just the, like, a lot of things. Okay, so let me ask you this. Where? Did, okay, so you know how everybody has come to this preconceived ideas of like what they should be doing because you're talking about really specific cases of resistance, like people not wanting to leave, not wanting to stay at home when they should be staying at home, and they have this preconceived idea that. They, they, they need to be out. They need to be busy. They need, they need to do this or they should do yes. that. Where do you think that comes from? Like, what is the level of, like, is, it, is it like an ego thing? Is it fear? How did we get to the point where we were so afraid to stay home and just be with ourselves and our families? It's also a preconceived idea. And like, we have this idea built up in our heads that, 
home. Like for most of these people, if you ask them why they are leaving the house, they will tell you the same thing. Why there's nothing to do. Home is boring. Like, you know, I, I need to be active. I need to do this. I need to. Those are all ideas that we have in our head. Home is boring. Why? Because you're not usually at home. So when you're home, you don't know what to do. Right. It's not boring. It's just that you don't want to dig in yourself and be creative and find things that you can do. You'd rather do things outside of your home because for you, home is a place where you eat and sleep and that's it. They're not using it as like a, a creative hub where they can like manifest like, joy. Mm -hmm. when, they, when, when they are saying home is just house. Like home is a place where you feel good. Home is a place where you want to be all the time. Like a house is a place where you sleep and eat. Do you think that maybe people don't want to be at home because they don't want to sit with their, their selves and their stuff? Like maybe there's an unhappiness there or issues they don't yeah, want to sit with? Totally. It's totally what it is because everybody who I've been talking to, like some people have been telling me they are at home and they are just enjoying it and they're doing the best of it. And then some other people are telling me they're at home and they can't take it. We are going for two hour walks every day. Yeah. They, you know, and those people are usually people who are, I won't say they are unhappy because I can't judge, but they are not fully happy with what they are living right now. They yeah. Are trying to, they are either trying to escape their actual lives or trying to find something else. And those people, you know, they keep telling, they keep telling me how people should stay at home and it's so stupid that people go out. And then I'm like, oh, so what did you do today? Oh, I went for a two-hour walk. <laughs> Hypocrites, right? So what like, would oh. be what would be your advice for people who have a really hard time sitting and dealing with those negative emotions that are coming up that are in resistance? What what would be the solution in your viewpoint? Well, they have to reach out. They have to reach out. Why is that yeah. important? Because they have to reach out to whatever they believe in. If it is themselves, then they have to reach out in the deep. Basically, they have to meditate. They have to reach out to the deepest part of themselves and ask themselves, okay, what's going on? Why, why is it so hard for me to accept? Or what is it that I think that is stopping me from just taking it and accepting what's going on? Because there's nothing I can do to change it. They have to reach out to, if they're believers, they have to reach out to God and ask God to help them. Not even to help them, but ask God to give them the strength to accept what's going on and to give them some like enlightenment so that they can actually make the best out of it. If they are spiritual, they have to meditate and ask the universe to like help them accept what's going on and give them like signs or tools or whatever it takes for them to be able to make the best out of this. I don't know, like, like I've been saying I've got to clean my house for days, but I, I really hate cleaning. <laughs> but this is an example of something you can do. Like, you know, you it's not, there's never nothing to do in the house, but there's a bunch of things that you don't want to do. It's yeah. different. So getting over your resistance, but doing what you're guided to do, not necessarily what you want to do. Yes. You know, like I, I have people last time was telling me they were really upset because it's their birthday and they are stuck in the house with their kids. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, you know how happy I would be to be stuck in my house with my kids on my birthday? Yeah, and but you're not an Aries. Aries need to be busy and they always need to be doing stuff. But I know what you mean. It's not just Aries. I, well, I, uh, what I mean but is it's that, in Aries know, right now. I mean, people don't see. That that it doesn't matter what you are, like you don't you're not stuck in your house with your kids. You have the chance of being at home with your kids instead of being out making a fool of yourself, spending money you don't have to hang out with a bunch of people who are not even your friends. You get to be at home in your home that you bought with your money with your kids that are part of you. Like what else do you want on your birthday? I know, I get it. Thank you so I, much. I have to end the video now because I have to use the little girl's room, but that was amazing. I think you shared a lot of 
important insights about reaching out about people who despite whatever they believe in need to connect with a higher power whether it's themselves moving deeper or with god and the angels if that's what they believe in asking for signs i think is so critical right now because it's a way we can all stay connected and i love how you crushed uh this notion of preconceived ideas and and helping people to move into acceptance so thank you so much for your time today do i have your permission to post this have you seen my fucking face <laughs> yeah it's like a cute said, face it looks, like, it looks like i've been fucking stomped on all night so people well people pe people it's still recording but um <laughs> <laughs> but i think you look you look great and you know the thing is is right now i mean people are posting videos that usually wear makeup i'm wearing makeup today i didn't yesterday but you know people people don't i don't think really care they care about what you know and you know you just look like a guy who just woke up and um well, i am know. a guy that just woke up for fuck's sake with a <laughs> But so, is that a no? You, you can want... if you want. Okay. If you feel there's anything good about it, go for it. Okay. Thank you for that. And, You're and welcome. I think there actually was a lot of value in this video. Okay. I All right. I feel like I, I'm just waking up. I can't even think, but okay. Well, that was pretty impressive for somebody who just woke up. Mwah. Love well, you. You just woke me up. Okay, love you. <laughs> It was worth it. That was a good video. All right. All right. Bye. Bye.